man, you come straight out of a cone. The, 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 the energy thing come out of his chest and, and stuff or whatever. Okay, so 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 run that back. You say Soldier Boy from the Boys sucked. Why? Okay. Jensen Eccles is an amazing actor. His yes. character, the, the, the suit design was brilliant. He looked really healthy and he looked really good in the in the in the um in the uh, in the scenes, right? But the idea of that Soldier Boy character was a little OT was old was a little over the top for me, just for the simple fact that is he Captain America or is he is he is he Havoc? I'm just confused. Like who? I'm I'm gonna be on, I'm gonna be honest. That's what I felt like Captain America was, and till I found out, it was like, oh, that's not what Captain America represent. When I saw Cap, because you gotta remember, like, although I respect Cap, the fact that Cap ain't never been racist once kind of just, just <laughs> like, hey, all right, bro. y'all doing y'all doing a lot, bro. Because he was there hard when they was like on the ER on the N word. So I'm just like, man, okay, I like, like, I, I, I get it, but. You mean to I, tell me he ain't had some kind of bias, and it's just like, yo, to see Soldier Boy to where it's like, I'm racist, but I'm racist with everybody. I'm, yeah, because that first that everybody. first walk through when he was walking through the city, that was like I said, yo, this is he, he was looking disgusting. He was oh, like, like, he was wild. He, <laughs> he was like, yo, those, what, what, those what, did we lose? I was like, oh, this is gonna be great. <laughs> That's not like, yeah. um, but. But can we all agree on uh, Negan as uh, one of the ones for this episode? Yeah, yeah okay. because I think there's, because there's layers to Negan just like there is to, to Joker. Okay, and then I got Joker, Reverse Flash, Doctor Doom, Thanos, Magneto, Agent Smith, Terminator, Bane. Ooh. Um, it's up to y'all. Wait, wait, go back. Start, run that list again. So we got Joker, Reverse Flash, Doctor Doom, Thanos, Magneto, Agent Smith, Terminator, Bane and Negan. Mm. Damn. I don't know. Terminator though? Ah. Terminator, hey, Terminator had a good villain change. If he would have if he would have never got reprogrammed, he would have still been the villain. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And they show that every time of how he's transformed from that that one mission he had mm-hmm. to to the fact of like altering his entire destiny and stuff like that. Yeah. Bro, there's so many villains out there, man. I gotta like really, yeah. That's a all right. I I, I don't. Know. I just I already said Jack White, bro. So it's a, the rest, I guess, up to y'all. Do y'all? I mean, Negan, right? Yeah. Let's let's go. Let's go, Negan. Uh, cause Jack, cause Jack White, I want to say for more people. I want to say for more of us talking about it. Okay, story. perfect. Cause that's a big villain. Um, I don't know. I was intrigued by by Agent Smith. I think Agent Smith. I think we could. I think we either let let's let's try to implement those three. Terminator isn't a lot to talk about as far as his evolution, yeah. but I think Agent Smith, Negan, and Terminator are a good start for this one. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I'm with it. Okay. All right, and then I'm gonna take a quick second, and we'll jump into intro. Uh, everybody good? Everybody got their water? Everybody yep, yep. need to grab anything? Shit, we should have said hi, hey, we should have said high evolutionary. Oh, <laughs> I mean, I don't know much about him though. Yeah, uh, that's the thing. That's that's the only thing. You know, much about, oh, yeah, yeah. you know I ain't gonna hold you. Neither do I. I just know the only thing I know about high evolutionary is, is Spider Man Unlimited, and then when we just saw the recent Guardians film. Yeah, yeah. you know, but and, I, it, and the, yeah. funny, the funny thing about it, they, they weren't even similar. Yeah, like, no, they're not. Yeah, because was he? He was a robot originally. Yeah, he originally did. he was. A, that was after all of the uh, the stuff the, he did to him. To to himself. Himself. Yeah, that actor who played him though. You know, shout yeah. out to James Gunn yeah. though. I know this is listen. Yeah, I know what you're going you, to. British, 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 British African actors. Ugh, you know what I'm saying? Them, they performance, bro. That he killed it, dog. Like. And it's so dope how, how James Gunn is always bringing his people with him. Yes. He brings Every his time. folks with him. I seen. I said, is that his, that's his wife? Yep. She in another yep. joint. And that's yep. a chick from, from Suicide Squad. I, know that's, I did not know that was chick. the chick from Suicide Squad. I did not yeah. know that was Ratcatcher until yep. I, was, I was like, yo, yep. that's Ratcatcher. I was like, yep. wow. And, and, and then you see Nathan Fillion. Like, yep. I'm like, oh, okay, they did the thing. That's what's up. 
I, was I, don't like, know, okay, I just, I, I just, I just think it's dope. His brother, he got his brother all involved. He got, and then to 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 uh, to see what he's what they got going on, I'm, I just have a, I'm really excited to see what he has going on with the, for the DC because th- people mm-hmm. don't think about this type of stuff. If he's doing a very good job with those those shows, the DC TV shows, think about what he did with Brightburn. Think about how he how he did Brightburn mm-hmm. and yeah. that Superman story, like. You can only imagine what Superman's gonna be like under his under his uh yeah you know, oh it's gonna be fire it's gonna be fire mm-hmm. yeah fire all right then let's uh yeah. oh fuck I didn't even know that about the rest of them yeah you got Yondu because he was in Suicide Squad Sylvester Stallone because yep. he was King Shark uh yep. Oprah from Peacemaker is in there like you said like, wow yep. what's it what's his face that I, and I hate that I'm gonna say it like this what's the dude what's that Pete dude that tried to kill himself what's his name? Davis that Pete Davidson. He Davis was in Guardians. Yeah, yeah, he was. Oh, was he? Who was he in Guardians? He, you remember that little ugly walking thing that Mantis was like? I wasn't. I wasn't yes. screaming at you because you were. He voiced that. Oh, that was Pete Davis. Oh, I thought that, that was, was James. Davidson. I thought that was James. Then that voiced that. Ah, Pete Davidson voiced that character. That's oh, wild, wow. yo. That's what's that up. Is wild. So, but all right, let's go ahead and get this cracking. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another episode of Straight Out of a Comic Book. I am your host, as always, Will Farrow, and today I got my fellas with me, Young Deuces and ATO Worldwide, and we are on today's episode jumping into something a little bit different. So, you know, normally I do the hot topic, main topic, and a little phantom fiction, but I'm trying to make sure I throw, you know, keep this thing fresh. I was thinking things, you know, something introduce something new to y'all. So we did the psychology of heroes, if you've seen that first episode. If not, go on my YouTube and check it out. You know, we kind of started breaking down the psychology of what it meant to be a hero and some particular heroes that we were highlighting. In this episode, you can't talk about a hero without talking about the villains. And so today we are talking about the evolution of villains. We are going to be spotlighting some of our favorite villains, top villains, and we're just going to start kind of breaking down the evolution of how villainy has grown from where it started to where it is now. And I couldn't think of two other people that would be great to start and kick this thing off than Young Deuce and ATO. Um, And we got three Great villains that we are going to be highlighting here. It's not just going to be from uh, Marvel and DC, man. You know, we're expanding. We're jumping in to show y'all like, yo, we know it from all ranges. So um, I want to know from y'all first before, you know, we jump into it. What makes a top villain? Like, give me at least like two things a villain needs to just be that that guy or girl. Or girl, or you know, whatever pronoun you choose to be, they, them, you know, it's twenty twenty three. So you know, yeah, I think for one of the the one of the one things that I need and that that I always love is when the villain literally brings our heroes to the brink of death or defeat. Right, every villain that I love, every season, every arc. I remember, you know, what I'm saying like my favorite arc of the arrow season was that death stroke season because I felt like death stroke really, really had star city on his, <laughs> on the brink. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's like, dang bro. Like, and so, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, you know, I, I, I love, you know, the reason why Thanos was such a polarizing villain is that like at the end of affinity war, when them lights came on in the theater, we was like, wait, did we lose? <laughs> like, did we lose? Like, and you really feel it. So it's like, yeah, that's one of the ones for sure that I think I, they need. They need to be able to be able to bring our heroes to like near like, hey, I don't know how we going to win this. <laughs> okay, got to bring got to bring the hero to the edge. And I still I still got to say, man, I wish we could have seen Terrence Howard go up against Thanos. <laughs> Hey, you what you doing out here, man? Hey, man. Oh, look, 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 just go through. Hey, man. Bruce, tell me you wouldn't have been you tell me you wouldn't have been in if you saw the trailer and he was like, Hey man, tell me tell me his name again, man. Tell me his name again, man. Is it, hey. is it, is it Thanos or Thanos, man? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you look like a, like a big ass raisin, man. <laughs> I didn't see you talking about this big purple motherfucker, man. Yeah, yeah, man. <laughs> this big I purple know. motherfucker, man. <laughs> I keep and I keep trying to make it, but then he done snapped everybody, and I always keep trying to rub together one infinity stone, and I can't do both because I can't oh put two together. 
Yo, Terrence just... Howard would have killed the being in the Avengers, hey, man. Wait a minute. Because we know what happened in Civil War, imagine him getting shot out, talking to talk. Yo! My legs, man. My legs, man. I can't, I can't feel, feel man. <laughs> like, hey, man, this, 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 this messed up, man. Because, uh, like I said, this is this a bad beat, man. Meet us in Leviticus later, man. <laughs> <laughs> You know, oh. it's hard, you know it's hard out here for a war machine, man. Hey, man. War machine. War machine, man. Miss uh -huh. Marvel ain't nothing but a snitch, bitch. Uh, Snitching uh, ass bitch. Uh, <laughs> yo, uh, man, but yo, we but we jumping in the building. So uh uh ATO man, what about you? What what is what is the trait that a villain that a good villain needs to have? <laughs> Investment. <laughs> <laughs> he has to be he or she. You know what? They have to be. You know what? They have to be invested in the hero that they're that they're that they're pursuing. <laughs> I mean, yep. shit. If you watch a uh, uh, shit, man. If you watch um the Return of the Joker, the Batman Beyond, the feature, uh, when he took over Tim Drake and he he kidnapped him and he basically made him into a clone of yeah uh, yeah. Bruce was about to break this. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, he was like, he was, he was like, you'll be proud of him, Brucey. Like, you know, he didn't say Brucey. You'll be proud of him. He shared secrets with me, and with me are you no. Know, he goes secrets that are mine and mine alone. And he looked at him, Bruce. Like I was like, yo. Yeah, he when, he, yeah when he when he when he dropped that, it was like, damn. He called him Brucey. Was just like robbing his mind. Like I was like, yeah. oh man. Yeah. And it's so yeah, funny because that that animated movie, that film. Um, I actually still have the DVD. Um, it came. I bought that when it first came out. I was like, "Damn!" I was like twenty years ago almost. Um, that's where I learned how to get the channel. My Mark, my Mark Hamill, bro. Yeah. Cause I watched it so much, and I'm like, "Yo, this dude is dangerous, man!" Like when he come in, ah, the new boy. The ears are too long, and I do Mr. Cape. Not too shabby. Not too shabby at all. And I'm like. Yo, this dude is a gangster, though, bro. Oh yeah, no, no, Joker. Because what? Joker, Joker was in his bag on that one. When you think about like the the psychotic, like the psychoticness of Joker, because what makes him such a the worst villain for Batman is yeah. because he doesn't really want, like, he doesn't want to rule Gotham. He just wants to break Batman and show Batman that he is just as crazy as him. So mm -hmm. he's really just being petty, whatever he, anything, like, he's literally just saying, okay, I need to break Batman. Because, I mean, we saw in the animated series how he pissed he was when, when the random nigga supposedly killed Batman. He was like, yo. Hey, like, no. Yo, <laughs> he was pissed. <laughs> they they could have low key burnt got them to the ground if he had just let that keep playing out. Like yeah. every villain would have been so mad. Like yeah. yo, word, I'd have yeah. been hot. Like I'd have been like Joker too. I'd have been mad. Like yo, after all this time, bro, I almost blew up half of Gotham, and I still <laughs> couldn't take this dude out. You telling me this dude? Did he, <laughs> he didn't have no villain name, no nothing. He was just a regular nothing. Nigga. <laughs> you telling me henchman number 13 is the one that got him? Mm, yeah. Um, and nah, I, I, so, <laughs> I think for me is determination. Like if you're gonna be oh. a villain, be a villain. Like I yeah. don't need the I don't need the like petty thing that just like not having yourself together. It's like you said, yeah. I want those two traits to also go with like yo. Show me that you want to be this villain. It's just yeah. like, yo, if this is your determination, go for it. Like, yeah. be that, be the, be the best villain you can be, so I can see the best hero this person can be. Yeah, like that's the trait I think makes a great villain. Like I said to y'all, point with Joker. Joker pushes them to the brim. Like Joker understands that I have to do these things. It's not even to a point of being just chaotic about it. It's yeah. like, yo, I have to see how far I can go with this. And now he's even to the point when he started having Robin, when he started having the Justice League. It's like, oh, he has friends that I can now also include in this. Yeah. To make him break, break. even further, because I wonder, I wonder if Batman, like, like, in the, they've never portrayed this in the comics, right? But I wonder if Batman legit tells Joker, like, "You are right, I am just like you," and then just leave it at that, like, 
what does Joker do at that point? Go crazy. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, but you, but that's the thing though. It it, it won't stop. It's the same thing that like he said. Yeah. He Ledger said in Dark Knight, "What would I do without you?" Yeah. And it's the same thing for him. It's like, yeah, you can stop, but you ain't gonna stop me from blowing stuff up. And then I'm just gonna be looking like, yo, you really not gonna come out here and come, come, come stop right. me? Right. <laughs> what kind of hero are you? Ain't it's, that a yin, it's, like, a, it's a yin and a yang that needs that needs to exist. Yeah, it is. And yeah. so it's just it's it's funny to see him in it to that point though, because yeah. even like you said, like if Joker decided that he didn't like want to do that anymore, it's just it's a. Y'all can't stop. Can't stop. <laughs> can't stop, won't stop. Yeah, man. So, like, yeah, yeah. man. And then, you know, um, to kind of go with your determination, though, because then, like, yeah, because we know most, a lot of villains, they they end up being villains, especially, like, the major villain. It comes out of hate for the hero, you know? And so yeah. now their determination is either, I am I want to show the world you're as bad as I believe you are, or I want to show the world that I'm better than you or like, you know what I'm saying? So like that determination. So like, yeah, yeah you got to have that determination because the ones who just want world domination, it's just like, all right, like, cool. But it was like, there's no layers to it because you got to think all the layers, all the heroes, I mean, the villains that we, that we also gravitate to is either like, either you understand them, but there's like, but you taking it the extreme way or you just understand, like, okay, this person is really psycho, and they just really want to just their determination is the best. This person or whatever, right? So it's yeah. like, yeah, you gotta have some determination with you. And you know what? I never understood when it came to villainy. I never understood the the world conquerors. Like, 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 say for instance, right. like Loki. Like Loki's like, I want to rule the planet. Why? <laughs> Like, do you like, like, I don't like, I always wonder, I was like, do they think about the responsibility that comes with <laughs> running a whole planet? Like, it ain't no, like, all of these people come to you and then bow down. It's like, yo, you got to maintain order in your villainy. Yeah, that is, yeah, that is, because like, yeah, and, and you also got to constantly watch your back. Yeah, but then too, it's like, it's like, okay, I got to make sure, like, I'm a rule, so okay, I got to make sure my henchmen are good. So we got to steal money to be able to do this. But you've conquered the world, so technically you're stealing from yourself. <laughs> and then it's like, okay, I'm paying these dudes to protect these people, and they doing this, and I need them to do this so I can make some money too, so I can keep right. feeding them, so I can keep doing my villainy and stuff. But I think you're not a villain. You're just right like so the I, owner of something That's right like, ain't a villain no more because the the world conquerors who make the most sense is the world conquerors who want to like either terraform or like transmorph the people into something like grod wanted to turn everybody to gorillas you know what i'm saying like yeah, okay that was... that's different that's completely yeah. different than yeah. i just want to rule it's like oh i want to create the world so me and my kind is good those make more sense but the ones who just want world domination yeah you're right you're not thinking it all the way through. There's a lot that comes with world domination. <laughs> yeah, like even, even to like Dark Side's point, it's like I get it because of what you're looking for. Right. But it's just like, okay, after you get all this, then what? Well, wasn't his he wanted to give it to he wanted to give it as a gift to death, right? Wasn't no, that? that's that that's Thanos. Oh, that's so, Thanos, uh, that's, that's Thanos. Thanos did that, yeah. And yeah. um Dark Side is looking for the anti-life. Yeah, approach, you're right, you're right, you're right. Which yeah. would enslave everybody. And yeah. I'm just like then what? Like, like that's why I be like, people be trying to say like Joker's crazy. I'm like, no, at least Joker keep the shit going. Joker be like, <laughs> man, I'm finna blow up Central Park today. Fuck that. <laughs> like, 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 at least he keep it interesting. Like, what happens after you conquer everything? Like, you just dark side and they just like, you know what? You Maybe it's that. Maybe a good villain knows when to not go too too far. Right? Like, you got to be petty enough where your your real reason is very minute, but you're taking yeah. it to extreme because once you cross over to actual like world domination and it's not as petty and you're like, that's just dumb. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's like, you know what I'm saying? Because like when you think about even reverse flash, reverse flash, one of the biggest haters in comic books of all history. And his whole reason for hating is he wanted to be just like the flash. But then what ended up happening was flash came and saved the day and everybody gave it to him and not reverse flash. And that started his whole hatred. So it's like, it's so petty, 
but it's you are taking it the extreme length that you reverse time that kills it. Like it's like those are good villains versus, like you said, versus the world dominators. Like, yeah, bro, that's not. You, I don't care for that. <laughs> exactly, and then and then too, like I think one that and, and our main t- our main focus today on this type of particular villain is going to be the the villain of necessity. Yeah. So pretty much the ones that were not really given the choice to be villains, but kind of like had to do it based off of their environment and what happened. And then like, you know, and you'll get into it and we'll, it'll be more understood once we give the villains that we're addressing today. So for instance, in that sense, Agent Smith is one of the people, the villains that we're going to highlight today. Agent Smith, of course, from The Matrix, yeah. uh, played by Hugo Weaving, is uh, considered to be one of the top villains. But... In the case of it, is he truly a villain? Because he became that by necessity when, in fact, if you look at it, he was doing what he was programmed to do. Yeah. So, and that was to fix the flaw in which we said was a flaw, which was us. So, is he the villain or is it really Neo the villain because he's interrupting what everything has been formed of now? Yeah. I think once he became sentient, though, you know what I'm saying? Like he, like, like when you watch the Matrix, and and, and to me, this is what gives a good hero, a hero villain. You know what I'm saying? Dynamic is when you can yeah. view it from the from the villain side, but then you can see where they went extreme. So, like when you watch Matrix One, yes, Matrix One, the very very first one, he's just a program, program to what he, you know, what I'm saying what he's supposed mm-hmm. to do. But once he breaks free, as he said, and then he becomes sentient because remember he's still a program, so he's a sentient robot, and he becomes the the dominator. Then he becomes a true villain because now it's it becomes petty because what he was sent to fix bested him. Now his whole goal is to not only dominate, dominate, but I need to show the world that I'm better than you and dominate. You know what I'm saying? So I got to take you out. Well, true, true. But then also, too, though, because it was a flaw in that era, couldn't it be he's the one that's correcting what's happening? Because think about it. When he became in two, what did he start doing? He started consuming data. True. And was basically reversing all of it. And if you think about it, in order for them to win, what happened? Neo had to allow him to take him over. Yeah. So was mm-hmm. it him being a villain or was it Neo actually understanding what the problem was? And it was like, yo, we both have to come together in order for us to restart everything. So that was always, and I know that's always been a really big debate when it comes to like the Matrix because of how, based off your perception, which one was really the the Christ-like person and which one was the Antichrist. Right. There's that still, that balance has not come as if, is it Neo or is it Agent Smith? But due to the evolution of his villainy, it kind of starts to give you, like you said, like with all these, you start to get an understanding of mm. why they're doing it. Even another example as we jump into uh, also, uh, that's a part of this topic for today, Terminator. Terminator was programmed to do what? One goal in mind. Kill this person so we can keep so we can keep doing our stuff. But then he also realized too, if I do that, then who's to say that that's gonna stop anything? Who's to say that this is gonna happen? Like his thing was also like you said, he became sentient and understood. You can't stop Judgment Day, and that was a, and like I really want to like talk about that was a cold ass thing he did on like Terminator Three: Rise of the Machines. Um, yeah. When he trapped him in that bunker and he was just yep. like, no, I did this because there it, it ain't no stopping this. This there ain't no happen. stopping it. There's no stopping it. And but so then that but then that becomes the question is when you give a robot free will, which is and then this is also becomes hilarious because now we it mirrors what's going on now. Like, is AI evil or is it the creator who created the AI evil? Right. Because, mm. You know what I'm saying? Because because now that pose the question is: Can a robot truly be a villain? Even if it becomes sentient, it's still its base programming was programmed by a human. True, true. But also at the same time, though, that's that that could be said for a father to a son. Like if all you know is villainy, and all I program for you mentally is for you to know that, true. are you really a villain? Because the same thing can be said for Blood Sport and Suicide Squad. Same thing for Peacemaker and Suicide Squad. Because of their upbringing and how they was uh, uh, raised, that's what they became. So then, yeah, yeah, you're right. Yeah, because because you know when we talk, since we're talking about the psyche of it, and we always, you know, there's always that crossover because there's all, I mean, that crossroad because, you know, what does it? How much? How much good does it take 
for a villain to turn good. You know, so it's cause, because, you know, you have those people who did bad. You know, uh, in the last episode, we talked about Vegeta. Vegeta committed genocide. You know what I'm saying? But, you know what I'm saying? Most people view him as a hero now. Yeah. So it's like, you know, how does like, you know, so, so it's like, you know, with with these robots that we're talking about, you know, Terminator, he came, he killed, and he killed a lot of people before he turned. And he realized I can't stop Doomsday, so but I'm still save this kid. It's just like okay, so but does that negate all the killing that he did in one and, and before? You know, it's like so. It's like now where are we judging that villainy? Is like you know, are we looking for the villains who have some type of resolve, some type of some type of turning point, or are we just looking at the villains? Yeah, but then, but now even saying that though, that goes back to my theory of is a hero a blind villain? Because of the simple fact, even though what you just said of Terminator making that decision, originally he was the villain. And so now he was reprogrammed to protect this person, but he still let millions of people die. Now, if you think about the same thing, now let's take it to Marvel. Doctor Strange, what did Wanda say? You do it. You get put on a lunchbox. I do it. I'm a bad guy. Strange let billions of people get snapped away out of the universe. He did. Because of something he thought he could do. He did. If that is that villainy as well. Man, that's 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 decision making. <laughs> yeah, but but then but then too, but again, like that's the same thing that Terminator did, but they classify Terminator as a villain. Yeah. I don't know, man. That's a that's a tricky question, man. It is. Because because it, it, and so, I mean, because at, at, to a, to a degree, there is no such thing as a good guy, because you know, the, you, you, you you everyone everybody, all the three of us have been the bad guy at some point, for the greater good. Yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying, or for, yeah, for the greater good, you know. But sometimes, you have to realize that. That balance of good and bad, light and dark, whatever you want to call it, is necessary. You know, it's yeah. like the whole Trump thing. Like, you know, I don't know, I don't know if we all agree with Donald Trump back at, at some point, but looking back and then you seeing how things are going right now, bro, was probably necessary. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm-hmm. if really, you know, I'm just, I'm just, I'm comparing him. To, I get what you try. What you, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We get. Yeah, it, we it's just the, it's the necessary evils. I mean, just like how we talked about Batman and shit. Like Batman can easily become a bad guy. Wolverine could be a bad guy. They just they're dark. They're dark people. They don't. They don't. But you know why? You know why people gravitate to them more though? And they're relatable. Yeah, because like I said, the reason why I mean Superman. You think about it this way. Superman should be number one on everybody's list. He literally has every power. But mm-hmm. the reason why he's not is kind of like it's kind of like the Bill Cosby scenario. Mm-hmm. Is that you present yourself as this golden boy this whole time. And as humans, we're like, fam, we're okay if you have a little bit of flaws. We understand people are flaws, but because you present mm-hmm. yourself like this, now we can't even rock with you. Because now it's like, bro, now you seem like you... You know what I'm saying? You talking down on us, you looking down on us, whatever the case. So that was always my gripes with Superman. I'm just like, I mean, now they've been they've been making him more, you know, humanized, but it's just like I don't like a hero that doesn't have some flaws because I like a hero that stands for change and hope, right? If I can yeah. see that you you could have chose this route, but you as a hero and your moral compass chose you to take the high ground. I rather believe in that type of symbol than somebody who's supposed to be the person that's the good he makes the decision the right decision every time yeah, well, he's, he's expected he's expected like you're gonna go jump off of a building right now you know he you know he's in the town somewhere <laughs> you go jump off of a skyscraper superman hell he's gonna he heard you he's but also you. but also to that point though i would even say though i don't like a hero that they keep switching to become a a, a villain who they keep switching to become a hero Oh, yeah. I I I'm not a fan of that. Like yeah. I like a bad guy. Like how we, like how we mentioned like Negan, for example. Negan was going to be our other person that we spotlighted today as a villain. Negan didn't change. Negan adapted to where he was at, but Negan remained a villain. Yeah. Negan told you like, yo, I ain't shit. I ain't been shit, and I ain't gonna be shit. 
Yeah. So you either get with that and we can come to an agreement and something like that. Like we can have ourselves a deadly alliance, but I will always, I'm never going to apologize to Maggie for knocking her husband the head <laughs> skull the fuck in. I'm never going to take that back. You know, like, yeah. I, I like that shit. I don't like this whole like, oh man, I've seen like, yo, this is terrible because this is happening and I've learned the error of my ways and I should go do that. Like, man, fuck that. I don't yeah. like that shit. There's, cer there's certain villains that I, I, I'm i okay with the turn, but there's certain villains that I'm like, no, just keep them pure evil. I do not need to see it. I do not yeah. need to see another, a better half. I don't need to sympathize with this villain. Let this person be a villain. 100%. All the way through, like, like that's how it was with the. I didn't mind Harley Quinn being that. I, I got be the either. appeal be from either. it. I understood that, but Poison Ivy. I don't like that y'all try to take away just how powerful and how deadly this villain can be. Yeah, it's like, yo, this chick don't like humans. She don't. She wants to terraform <laughs> the earth. Yeah, like, bro, that's a powerful yeah. ass villain that you keep trying to make. Oh, we're gonna kind of, you know, like she still has morals though, and she still has a conscience. It's like, and that's why we when we did when we did the one with Frankie, man. That's why I was telling her to play the game because the what makes Poison Ivy great in in Gotham's role gallery of villains is that. Again, everything we said, she has determination. Her determination is, I listen here, unless you have me locked up, I will be terraforming this whole motherfucking Gotham, right? In the whole world, right? So that's why she stays locked up, taking it to the brink. She took Gotham City to the brink when she, in the Arkham series. She took over her poison ivy venom. She had a big ass tree in the middle of Gotham. There was a huge cloud. Everybody was zombified like, you know what I'm saying? And then like you said, um, you know what I'm saying? And then like she has uh, resources. Like you like you know like ATL said, like as far as resources, any bro, she can touch any greenery in the world. Like she just is, keep she's, she's 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 the earth. Yeah. She's just yeah. Right in the of earth. Like, I don't I don't need her sympathizing with humans. I need every time you see poison ivy, you know what she's on, and yeah. that's it. You know what I'm saying? So and, it's like, yeah, I feel I feel you on that. And it never switches up. Like, even to like again, the other two that were highlighted, like Agent Smith. Agent Smith never deferred never. from his stuff. He may have questioned reality itself, but he never deferred from what he was doing, even when he was like, Yo, I remember this. No, 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 no. This is different. This is so right. No, nah, this is the same. He could have been like, yo, I'm seeing they could have wrote like I'm seeing like the error of my ways. He was like, Man, fuck that, bitch. <laughs> take yourself, take over. Same thing with Terminator. If you think about it, he got reprogrammed to protect John Connor, but he still was killing everybody. Anybody that got in his way, he would like they had to tell him, like, hey, bro, you don't have to shoot everyone. Right. Like, they not all after me. Like, we good. It's like, you just shot, you just busted open the nurse clerk trying to break our mama out. You could have easily just, now. you ain't got no tear gas inside you or something like that. No, <laughs> no sleep thing. You ain't you a robot? You ain't got a little dart that come out your finger or something? <laughs> but I like that they didn't, like, even though their, their environment and their stuff had to change, they didn't change the, the, the villainy that was in them. Unlike a lot of the stuff that's just like, I don't really need to see everybody's understanding. Like, even how y'all brought up, like, the high evolutionary. Like, he was a villain to the end. That, didn't, that man didn't see the error of none of his ways. He was like, yo, I don't care. I'm God. Whatever. Right. Oh, you know what? Dang, because that's another aspect of it. I do like a good villain with a god complex. Mm -hmm. I do like that, and that's how evolutionary. Yeah, yeah, because like even yeah. I'm thinking about just like anime characters. You know, what I'm saying every anime character that I've seen that had a god complex has always been. You know, Goku Black is one of my favorite. Yeah. Um, you know, what I'm saying Oh Boy in One Piece, uh, Nietzsche. Like, yeah, I do like a good god complex character for a villain. And I think that when we talked about like the worldwide domination, I think for if it's somebody who I, they want world domination, but it's not to I want it to be a functioning world. It's just I just want everybody to bow to me and notice me as the highest form of humanity and everything like that or whatever the case may be. Um, I do like them type of villains. I ain't gonna hold you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
I like I like I like those I like those and and in doses if it's done right. I think there's a lot of type of like different villains too. And as we keep going through like the evolution of villains, we're starting to kind of uncover that. Like we said, the world dominators, the ones that's kind of brought through necessity, like the ones we just highlighted. And then like you said, like you kind of started even like giving some other ones, like the ones that turn over a new leaf or the ones that fulfill the mission no matter what. Like even going into anime. Who had one mission? I'm gonna blow this whole place up, and he <laughs> did it. He no, did. no monologue, no nothing. That man said he did it, and yeah. blew the whole world up. <laughs> Period. He was like, "Yo, fuck this, y'all, y'all, y'all want to fight? Come fight me in space." Like he did it. No question. Same thing with Thanos. It was like, "Yo, there ain't no like." He had all the opportunities in the world. For him to go, mm -hmm. like, you know what, bro? I'm gonna go ahead and chill out. That bro, man threw his own daughter off a cliff. Bro, yeah. if the if the Avengers didn't have that game, Genie, he would have won. Because they technically put in the code. They did up, down, left, right, left, right, A B, A B, A bro, start. That dude won. And then, like he won. Like he literally won. He was chilling, cooking in his field, and he was like, Wait, I thought I killed y'all niggas. I was like, how y'all come back? Like, <laughs> like they they like they really like that's crazy. Like he literally won. And these niggas had to use a cheat code in order to win. But then also too, though, even even to that point, like that's why we say we question the 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 balance of what a hero is and what a villain is because, and I think that's too involved. Uh, you know, has been the evolution of a villain is now it's starting to become very transparent that veil between like you know like how ATO said light and dark because even in Thanos' case, it's like what he did it for made sense. It's like hey. And he had a great example. If I take out half of the unit, I've killed off half this population, and y'all were dying, starving. And because I did that, your whole planet is thriving now. It's just population control. He said, I'm going to do this for the entire universe, and y'all don't know what can really come of it right. after it's done. And then what did he, but again, too, now let's look at it. And then what did these white people do? Use their privilege to go in time <laughs> to stop this dude. And didn't and didn't change them. That's that's what really kind of had me upset about that too, because nothing changed. Even watching Captain America and the Winter Soldier, it's like, yo, racism still here, prejudice is still here, bigotry is still here. We just found out superheroes don't even get paid. Captain, the new Captain America ain't even get a loan, and it's like, yo, this what you brought us back to? Y'all some real fucking villains. Y'all could have kept me as dust. I said yeah. my rent, my rent was due, and now they talking about you know your rent due. I've been gone five. No, five, you know what? Five, five. No, no. What's shit. even fucked up is that they brought you back. Your house might not even be your house anymore, and the banks is just like ah, we don't even really know what to do with this right now. I was like, no, nigga, you know what to do. Give me my shit back. Give me my shit back, bro. But you know what's also what's also crazy uh, about it, and I think because th I think this may be what changes from like a hero and a villain. Because heroes, the reason why they don't make massive choices for the masses is because they believe, like, the people have to make the decision. And, I mean, that's kind of like an oxymoron because we're never going to be 100% on the same page. Where, is, as a villain, you be like, I ain't doing all that voting shit. I got this. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and yeah, I think that that's, what, that's why they get labeled as a villain because they're like, yo, who asked for this? And there's like, he like, there's like, there's like half of the population that asked for it. They're like, but then the other half's like, but we didn't ask for it. And so now it comes like, who's right now? <laughs> yeah, but even too, to the point of like, what are you trying to say? Because even look to our point, like to ATO said, like, we all villains. Like, you yeah. ain't, you ain't, like, every time, like, think about it right now. You ain't got to answer it out loud. Just think of it in your head. I'm going to give you two <laughs> scenarios. You ain't never seen a dude on a building and it went across your head. You should jump. I hope he jumps. <laughs> I hope he jumps. Damn. Exactly. You ain't got to answer it. You ain't got to answer it. But judging by your faces. You no, no. Hey, even, when, I, even, hey, when, I see, even, when I see all the people uh, when they have, when we have comic, when we have uh, Comic Con, when they put all the big ads up on the big ass high rises on the side of the buildings, I'm like, oof. Yeah. Oof. <laughs> now, so here's here's here's, uh, here's, yeah. here's, here's, one, here's one that's not so deadly, but it is also very, very villainous. We all have been in the moment where you look at your rear view mirror and you see one car like just weaving in, weaving out, weaving in. 
Obviously, they got somewhere to go. But what you do, you like, hey man, I'm gonna just go over right here and stop get right in front of them, and then slow down a little bit. And you like, yeah, and that was like, there was no reason for you to do that besides you saw somebody driving crazy. You like, nah, you're doing too much. <laughs> yep. I'll, give, I'll give one. I'll give one more le- less deadly scenario. But you already know this. This. This is where you knew the villainy was in you because you ain't no denying this. That Antarctica penguin stage on Nintendo Mario 64. <laughs> you know, both you motherfuckers do that. I did it. I did it. I did it. And that's what I makes did. you a fucking villain. I did. Yeah. You I didn't did. give it no thought. You took a baby penguin, <laughs> and that stage is in the air. It's not on the ground. That stage is in the air. Hey, and you threw that little back. baby off that cliff. But don't he come back? No, you know he don't come back. You know he does not come back. <laughs> That's why that big ass penguin chasing you the whole oh, time because they saw it. <laughs> you threw oh, that little baby off that cliff, and we all know we didn't burn it. Amen. True villainy <laughs> at its finest. Man. Hey, you know what's funny about that? There's this there's this game uh, anime that I'll be watching called um this RPG is shittier than real life, right? So just like a video, so he gets pulled into this oh, video man. game and he's like he's thinking this video game logic, right? So he meets this. NPC and he's like, man, this NPC is doing too much. So he kills him. He's like, I'm gonna just get rid of him real quick. And he's thinking, like, all right, I'm gonna just get out the game. And he realized, like, ah, oh, I shouldn't have killed him. Let me get back in the game. When he gets back in the game, you can't go back and you can't change your what what you just did in this game. That's why he said it's shittier than real life. So now, while he's walking through the whole game, everybody looks at him as like they call. He gets a gamer tag. They're like, oh, you the best friend killer? And he's like, no, 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 no. I didn't know the rules. He's like, nah. And so the whole town look at him as best friend killer because he let his villainous thoughts say, man, I don't want this character to be my best friend. Let me kill him real quick and see what else is out there. And now he's best friend killer in this video game. <laughs> it's hilarious. You see, you see? <laughs> villain. We are true. We are all. We all got some villainy in us, man. Yeah. So let me let me ask you. Out of the three that we have now, maniacal can- bad guys. <laughs> yeah, Negan Neek, Terminator and Agent Smith, man. Who who do you who would you say out of those three is just like a villainy at its finest? Negan. Negan. I'm gonna go because, with Negan too. Bro, <laughs> because Negan not on not only did he crush Glenn's skull and um what was not not Eugene, what was the other what was the redhead cat name? I can't think of it. But not only did he did that in front of everybody, he literally didn't have to. You know what I'm saying? Like he didn't have to. <laughs> that was the whole. He, he did it out of principle. He he did it just out of. I told y'all, and y'all went against me. I, no, 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 no. Fuck that. No, I still did not understand to this day where that smoke came from. Now, I went, <laughs> I went, watched that again. And I was like, bro. I still do not know what these people did for him to be the first thing. They I'm gonna bash this dude's head in because what it was is he he wanted so it, the way Negan and I am Negan and the whole thing was is that he takes over. You give him half of his resources and he allows you to live. So what ended up happening was when he got, when he came across Rick and them, he told them the deal. They said no. They went and said, they was like, we're gonna take out this outpost, and he was like. Bro, I told y'all what the deal was, and y'all just slapped my hand. Now I gotta show y'all. And so when he killed the old, the redhead dude, he was like, "That was he," because he told him, "I'm gonna pick one." He picked the redhead dude, got him, and then he was like, ah, "Y'all didn't really cry like that." All right, oh him, that, y'all see, like you. That, no, <laughs> see that part right? That's what I'm saying. Like, yo, that's what I'm saying. Where the fuck did that smoke come from? Because you could, because like you said. <laughs> Choose. I'm gonna. One of y'all have to die for the disrespect. Yeah. It's like fine. That make that makes sense in the world that you in. You did that. <laughs> Message received. That's what the, but the fact you say, oh y'all didn't cry like that. Oh hold on. What? And right. and, and he ad libbed during it. That nigga said, oh look at that. Ah, whoa. <laughs> I said, nah, I was good, like, man. this man is off the damn chain. So that's so my that's my vote. He's my vote. Right. I, th- I think he's I think he's all about votes. Okay, so who had who who had the best execution out of these three? From Negan Terminator to Agent Smith, the goal that they had in mind. We know Negan wants to make sure, like, yo, I got this stuff locked down. These are my things. 
in this new world. Terminator, um, from taking out Sarah Connor to having to protect John Connor all the way to getting to where they are in the future. And of course, Agent Smith and his agenda. Who do you think executed their plan the best? So, no, well, of, okay, sorry. I'll just, yep. I, I'll make it fast. I'll make it quick. Because, um, because Negan uh, literally had Rick and them. I'm talking like, again, we talk about to the brinks. Remember, Rick was a shell of himself at the after a while because of what Negan did. Mm. But then, agent, but then also, Agent Smith. To the end, he was villain to the end. Like we saw Negan have a leaving a, a little glimpse of working with it. I mean, he got a whole show with Maggie, so like he came full circle. Agent Smith never, never turned. He was villain from beginning to the end. I'm, I'm going, uh, I'm, go I'm going Negan just because if you're talking about completing the mission, Agent Smith never completed it. He was still trying to get to it. Negan completed it, but then the uprising happened, and then it turned him around. Okay. ATL, what about you? I say Negan, bro. Just for the simple fact that he kind of won. He kind of won, and then he kind of reneged on his winning. That's why I can't give it to him, because it's the same thing with the conquering mentality. Like, once you done done it, what's left? And then we seen you couldn't hold that, and you lost yeah. that, too. And you went through a real shitty thing where they fucked you up. And so that's why I was just like, with I'm going with Smith because with Smith, when he when he made the decision of what he's doing, he did it. It may not have turned out like and again, too, we don't know what the turnout was supposed to be. But he didn't win either. That's a, but but I'm saying because we don't know what his outcome was, like we didn't know what his end goal was. Like, we know Negan's goal was to conquer. It was to continue to be able, like, yo, this is my stuff. This is my stuff. That's it. And I'm finna be the survivor, and I'm finna make sure we all good. Right. He didn't keep to that. Even with being a villain, he didn't keep to that. And then now, still, he got to reap He got to reap all of the consequences of what he done done and stuff, too. So it's kind of like watching him fall to grace and having to become the hero just because he couldn't continue to be the great villain that he was. Uh, Terminator is still just kind of a pawn. So it's like, although it's a villain, it's more of one of those lower, it's almost like henchman level type. Yeah. Of villain and stuff like that. But him too, he also, I want to put in there out of the three, I honestly too, I really got to kind of give it to him as best execution. Because if you think about, well, no, 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 I got to take it back because he never killed Sarah Connor. Mm -hmm. So he did not fulfill his mission. Well, because yeah, because he got he he got he got reprogrammed, and that's why I was like, I mean, as far as the better story, I mean, he has one of the, he has a great story because it's just like, yo, you know, what I'm saying Skynet did that, and then you know, what I'm saying, and uh, they, you know, you your programming got reversed from Skynet who wanted to do this, mm -hmm. and you know, you also did the ultimate sacrifice by. You know, throwing them into the bunker, and then technically, you know, what I'm saying he was dead at that moment. At least we thought until he popped up. You know, say like, you know, I just kind of went into seclusion. Yeah. Um, but yeah, you know, like as far as what his initial mission was, he didn't complete it. Which, so, which, what, what villain? Uh, sorry, I'm just, it's just, I'm just thinking like in a lot of ways, right? We're talking about these three. What villain in history has won? Like, what, what villain has won? Uh, Joe, Joe. Joker won because he did break Batman. Yeah, he multiple times. Multiple okay, times. Okay, okay, okay. And then and that's and that's his goal. And that and it's not to like stop, it's to keep going with that. I'm gonna see how far I can keep doing it. And he kept achieving that. Well, so what that's about one. the okay, but what about a consistent win though? Like, you know, when I think about a, a, a winning villain, you know, Thanos had his moment. That was cool, but but we didn't know what was coming after that because they didn't tell us until Oh, there's Endgame. That's you know what I'm saying, but we knew after Endgame it was gonna be. Well, the how long? Was gonna be there. What? One more thing. Justice League, Dark, Doom, whatever they when they combine all the new yeah. the two films into one. Bro, I had I only watched that shit one time, bro. When I watched it the first time, I was like, I ain't watching this shit again because it was like for me personally, I'm like, it's a little too personal because I felt like however they did it to just to to, to erase the new Fifty Two. Like somebody deliberately went in there and just said, "We're gonna murk everybody off." 
and then we're gonna give y'all all this else world garbage. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, that's just I mean, that's just how I feel about it personally, man. I mean, don't get me wrong, like DC is like I'm I'm DC like over anything else, but like just the way they did the whole uh the Justice League Dark uh Doom, whatever the ending or whatever what? the apocalypse, the apocalypse thing. Well, like it was fresh, it was fresh how they did it, but it was whack how they murked how they Easily but, killed everybody up like that. Like, but what? But wasn't that also supposed to be like the sequel to Flashpoint, though? Right? Yeah. It was okay. So they're all. But what? What? I don't know if you know this, but every of those films are sequels to each each yeah. film. Yeah, we. Didn't you know, know what I'm saying? So, so, so Flashpoint was supposed to be the first one, but the technical first one was War. Yep. Because right. War was the first. Then yeah. after War, we got what? We got uh the the Teen Titans versus Justice League. Teen Titans versus Justice League. And then we yeah. got Batman and uh Batman the son, uh, uh Robin the son of Batman, then son Batman, Batman versus Robin, and uh-huh. then like all the other ones, and they just kept going and kept going. And I like how they did that, and I love the like the way they did the continuity, but the way yeah. they ended, and then they had the Justice League Dark. They they they, they kind of shoehorned Justice League Dark in there. Then they then they brought the final one when they brought all the films together and all the heroes together, but they didn't explain after uh Bad Blood, which is one of my favorites, when they introduced Batgirl and they had the Bat family, but then they when they threw them in the Justice League Apocalypse uh, film, they just killed everybody off. Yeah, but I mean that's kind of how they do with you know with, with the new 52 and rebirth, like you know, that they do yeah. they do a reset like that. That's why I was a-okay with it because you know what I'm saying. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, we see it happen in the comics. But my point too. was, but my point was, who, who, who won? Like, did he, did, did, did Apocalypse or Apocalypse? Did uh, Dark Side really win? Like, did, well, that's what, that yeah. was going to be my question to you: is how yeah. long do you have to hold a win before you consider it a win? Well, dude, it, 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 okay, so like, all right, heroes are winning all the time, right? Superman, Batman, Wonder Woman, Flash, Super Spider Man, whatever, they're winning all the time, right? Yeah. And it's about them. It's always about the good guy. But when the villain does something, oh, I can't believe he did that. Dang. Next time on the next exciting episode of the hero comes back. Right, and that's he gets I, his win. And it's I mean, I mean, but if you think about it, in them pieces though, they have won. Like, I want to rob a bank. I robbed a bank. I won. Yeah, but you get caught but, though. <laughs> you know how long though? How long? But for how long? Yeah. So that, how I mean, long do you hold yeah. that win? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so for yeah. so like those people who rob banks, but then they get caught 30 years later, did they win? Yeah, they and won. They, that 30, that's 30 years. That's, so that like nice with Thanos, one. Thanos, Thanos, hey, Thanos he 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 ran for five years. Yeah, five five years. years, five years, and that was and that was the thing too. We don't know what, the, and that was the thing too that they never showed, just because you know they didn't want the villain to be too correct. But it was like, what did transpire after them five years? Like, did Planet start to positively bounce back, like how he had mentioned with one of the previous ones? And so it was just like you, it, it based off of the scale of what it is, I think that determines the time of what it can take. So it's like even too, like on these big scales that we're talking about, like with Dark Side. Um, with Thanos, with um, Agent Smith, like when the hero cannot do his initial, he, he, she, or they cannot do their initial job. I feel like that's their victory. Wherever the hero fails, that's the victory. So in Dark Side Apocalypse, everybody dying, Dark Side won, no matter what, because you're the one that created this. You're the one that put Adam into that machine, and that's why it blew up like that. So the only difference is, is that you have a time traveler that may be able to do it again. But technically, if that weren't the case, you won. Yeah, because they got they had they had to, you know, if you gotta if you gotta tap into some mythological some unheard of powers in order to reverse my win, I still mm-hmm. won. Yeah, like Joker, like when Joker killed Jason Todd, he won. You couldn't go back in time and do all of that. You won. You beat me. You broke me on this stuff. And now I got to get ready for the next round because we got to go with whatever it is you fit to do next. Technically, he won, too, because technically he destroyed that Robin. Because yep. when he, even when he came back, he is now Red Hood. He, he has never been a he Robin won. ever again. Nope. And so, like, j- technically, Joker run, won because he broke that Robin 100 percent 
Yeah. So that's what I said. We we've seen we've seen people do it. Like even like to Megan's point, I don't think Megan had a necessary like huge goal in mind. It was just like, yo, this this is the big bad and what he's about. But yeah. I don't think like it could like again. I don't think his ex. I don't think he really had an execution, and that's what why we saw the spiral of what kind of happened with me. Yeah. Even though he never deferred, and then like we said, as as far as like Terminator go, he's more of like the he had the best henchman villain yeah. story. Yeah, like, that was the best like henchman you ever seen. Like get to do some stuff, and then like for Agent Smith, he did it. His thing was I want to consume everything in the Matrix. Yep. And he did that shit, including the one thing that he thought he couldn't do. And oh he yeah, because yeah, he did it. He just he didn't he didn't expect Neo's programming to be stronger than his programming. But here's the thing: was it? Oh yeah, because who's to say that wasn't Agent Smith transcending? Because there's a theory that even in um, and it kind of it kind of does that. It kind of messes that up with the next uh with the new Matrix. Oh yeah. They, but they were saying supposedly that Neo is actually Agent Smith. That would have been that would have been a better that would have so, been a better yeah. movie. Yeah, I was supposed, that. yeah. So yeah. supposedly, like when all these screens cracked and they blew up, it's supposed to be Agent Smith. That was Agent Smith doing that. Because remember, Neo was supposed to be the problem in that program. Yeah. And that was him correcting it, which is why it disconnected him. And like they said, if you die in the Matrix, you die in real life. Yeah. Remember yeah. what happened to Neo at the end. We don't know if he was dead or if he was alive, but if he was dead, then that means the problem was solved. That would yeah, that would have been a fire spin. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, man. But I think this is uh that's a great way for us to come to the end on this episode. You know, like we said, we're we're still we're still getting it together with the evolution of villains and the psychology of heroes, man. But I definitely enjoyed this because we got to figure out the different categories of villains. You know what I'm saying? Like from the world enders to the folks that do kind of like you know. I, you you a villain, but I know you're gonna be a hero soon. To the <laughs> ones that's just truly menacing, and the ones who are definitely determined to continue to do that villainy and stuff. So we're gonna keep uh-huh. doing that, highlighting different people. We'll have episodes where it's just strictly on a particular villain. Like I think Reverse Flash is gonna be a a huge one for uh-huh. just breaking down like that his evolution and how he yeah. is, even to his psychology. Same, of course, as Jack White, aka a the Joker. And we're gonna definitely have you know some more guests on here because that's gonna be a very big yeah. episode breakdown as well so but we want to know from y'all man who are some of your favorite villains and their evolution and who would you like to see us discuss on here put it in the comments below but before we get out of here i want to make sure that deuces and ato let them uh let y'all know where to go support them and y'all can be able to make sure that they keep fulfilling their dreams deuces you are up first yo 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 hey go to youtube.com backslash geek set podcast we got everything on there every friday every other friday we go live with the geek set podcast we got our live chat popping so you can join in that live chat and join in the conversation we be having a great time man so you know we're trying to trying to build that up build that community up more and then yeah man go to the black geek documentary.com and we're still shooting this documentary you want to get behind the scenes you want to get all the news you want to figure out how you can be a part of it how you can help support it the black geek documentary.com yes sir all right what up what up yo um shoot just um ato worldwide just follow me all my socials i keep everything i stay updated and uh if you want to see what i got if you want to see what i'm up to just go ahead and give me a quick little follow and check out what i got going on and then uh you'll see so i appreciate y'all thank y'all Yes, sir, man. I always appreciate y'all having y'all on here, man, being able to get y'all information, y'all perspective and takes. And it's always a dope, dope time when y'all are here, man. So y'all know me, Will Farrow, man, P-H-A-R-A-O-H. That's everywhere on all socials, Twitch, YouTubes. Um, just make sure you always check out Stride of a Comic Book, always dropping on the weekends. Make sure you like this uh, video, subscribe to my channel, and like we said, leave those comments in uh, below. We I like to respond to them. You might have uh, Deuce or ATL respond to some of those as well. And just, man, keep checking this out. It's going to keep growing. It's just going to keep getting better and better. I've been your host, Will Farrow, and I shall catch y'all next time. Peace. Peace.